Hello everyone and welcome back. So as you all saw last week, it was a bit of an insight to what I do when I'm not racing. A very jokey video, having a good laugh with the man to my left, Mr. See Through Glass. Mr. See Through Glass. Oh, you're here. Hi. Hi, hi. You, you awake or hungry or? <laughs> hungry. <Yeah. laughs> so Hello, what I did say was I will introduce what I actually drive. So the car I'm in at the moment, I'm not sure any of you saw in the video last week, some of you guessed, but it is a 550 Maranello. What do you think to the 550? I like the interior the most. Just the interior. I think the interior is so nice. Yeah, it is really cool. I mean, obviously everything else. I mean, like, you know me. And, and it's old school because we also have six speed, H pattern box. We don't see this very often. Yeah, gated steel thing. Sam says it needs straight through pipes. Yeah, it's, the sound is a little disappointing. Yeah, it's no, but it's hard. a classic V12 sound. It's a classic, rather, yeah. Uh, these days, you know, you listen to GTOs and it's like, Whoa, what, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> oh my god! Quickly spotting! <laughs> oh, oh, Gonna come around! Oh my god! <laughs> Paul Wallace! Um, Paul! Supercars of not London! <laughs> um, but yeah, but no, the, it's it's cool, man. It's really cool. It's you just like scaring grannies and things like that with your yeah. exhaust. Well, I like to be calm. Up. Cruise past, they don't even know I'm coming past. Like, what was that? Oh, was a, that was a lovely Ferrari. They didn't even like <laughs> you. It's like, oh my god, who was that bald man that just drove that jack past? I've got to stop taking the piss out of your hair because one day you'll knock me out and then <laughs> you'll film it. I'll <laughs> knock me out. <laughs> right, so we're going to take this on a drive, show you guys. It's dusty. It's not dusty. It's dust. dust just fell on me, mate. Really? Yeah. It's because you can feel it on your hair. Can we go for a drive? Anyway, we're going to go for a drive and show you guys what it's like to drive a 550 Marinello. How do you feel the ride is? It's quite a nice ride. Yeah, actually. It's not slow. <laughs> It's not slow. Oh it's clearly not slow. But you know what? It's quite a. Um, I, I really like the fact that you can't hear much of an engine. It's yeah. like a. Ooh. It reminds me of a Bentley. Really? Yeah. Really? A little bit harder. Yeah. Like it's, like, it's, it's just so comfy in here. I am thinking, because obviously we're going to Top Marks together, aren't we, Sam? Aren't we, Sam? Oh, wait. Sam, Sam, I'm coming to Top Marks. You just invited yourself. I'm coming to Top Marks. Yep, I'm coming to Top Marks. Yeah. Sam, I'm coming to Top Marks. Yes, yes, top marks. <laughs> Woohoo! Woohoo! So I'm coming to Top Marks and I'm thinking about taking Top Marks Monaco for Top those. Marks Monaco for the viewers that don't know what Top Marks is. Top Marks Monaco is a big car show. Yeah, it's a car show. It's a car show. The car, car spotters go. The car spotters go. The cars. You, you members of the public or, or uh, ticket holders can test drive the cars that are in the show or some of the cars that are yes. in the show. So car spotters go because these crazy cars are being driven or test driven around Monaco, so it becomes like spotting Mecca. Mecca, 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 Mecca. What a tune, what a tune. The horn, the horn is your vibe. The horn is my vibe. Every car is like, horn, I having, I'm having a nice day. <laughs> it's a hilarious horn. So, I want to know whether I should take this 550 to Monaco, which I reckon. Oh, yeah, hey, of course. Do you reckon? Do you reckon? Yeah, I think it'd be so cool. Look at this in the Monaco Hills, I think it's just. I love look at the gate. Yeah. Just flick the gate down. <laughs> this is the noise, the clunk. Oh. It's nice. I love the gated box. The gated box is so cool. Yeah, so top marks. I need to. I think. I think. Go down in this. Yeah. You'd be like and, a proper baller. Yeah, that, I think it would be really cool. And Paul Wallace is going, Supercars of London. I don't know, but... Mr. JWW. Hello. Hello. Seb Delaney. Yes. Morning. 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 And everyone else is going, so that'd be yes. cool. 
So yeah, yeah I, be epic. if I'm invited, I would love to come. You're not if, invited. If you, would like, if you include me in your videos, I'd like to come. Otherwise, for me, there's no I, point. <laughs> there's no point in Unless coming. I'm collaborating and getting you subscribers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unless I can get I subscribers, we are kaput. <laughs> <laughs> Marinello back in the garage. And see you later. See you later, sunshine. No. <laughs> Is that real like elegant <laughs> south of France? Pop of Paula. Oh. It just fits. Yeah. It just fits into Monaco, where the F-type doesn't fit. No, no. It's got the right colours of the flag. I think it's similar. <laughs> it does. Red and white. It's oh, perfect. So I am a Monaco flag. Oh, baby. It's only done twenty thousand miles. Ooh. It's not a lot. It's basically new. It's, ba it's basically. Is this newer than your Alpha? Um, than your Alpha? Is this is this newer than your Jag? Yeah. What's your Jag done? Left. Really? Move really on. it hasn't. Move on! <laughs> it's done. Your Jag's done like 200,000 miles. <laughs> it hasn't. It's done MOT failure. 2,000 2, 2, <laughs> miles. One previous owner, careful female driver, never tracked or motor. That is rubbish. Listen to it going down there. Down the gears. You can have a hint of it. It's quick as well. Yeah, it's, it's not. It's not. It's not around. That's why. And also, also, what I do love about this car, that the wheel. You know, like all the modern Ferraris, the wheel is so like so many dials. Yeah, yeah, buttons. Like buttons, like that's chatting the traction control, and two settings, and we're going to get a little bit more wheel spin. Not on the Stradale. <laughs> not on the Stradale. No, but it is cool, isn't it? That yeah. you can still get in a Ferrari that looks fairly modern and have that retro feel. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. This is like the the middle gap of class. Yes. So on my channel, I'm hoping this works. The E type, and I was banging on about how oh, I like classics now. Yeah. And then obviously I do a lot of like, usually I'm all around modern cars. Yeah. This is like a bridge. Um, yeah, a really like bridge in between. Yeah. It's not a classic, but it's not like a brand new supercar. But I think if you did like do things to this car, if you like did the pipes or whatever. Army tricks. Uh, do army tricks on uh, this car, and it will. Army be tricks. <laughs> That's the generic. YouTube exhaust pipe. Army! Army tricks! Army tricks! Do the army tricks! Army tricks! And change the exhaust! <laughs> Put army tricks on! Do you remember Brum? Brum? Brum. Brum. Oh, I could be Brum. Oh my god, the that whole was thing. That my favourite show. I could literally and get Brum always went boop boop. Like Brum. Uh, Brum was cool. Brum Not was Noddy. Fun. Naughty, brilliant. Sooty! Oh my god, Sooty! 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 Oh. You could be having like the biggest argument with someone, like, yeah. I'll show you, I'm gonna get out of my life, yeah. and then you just go, the argument is the ultimate, like, moon killer. And what do you think of this cut, the colour of this Marinello? compared to others, because another one I post on my Instagram, our Champion Racing Instagram, seen through glass. <laughs> Hello one and all, am I going to see through glass? <laughs> <laughs> you sound yeah. so constipated when you do that. Hello one and all, I'm going to see glass. <laughs> on the one I post on my Instagram, it was a silver one. Okay. I quite like it silver, but the blue. Yeah, before... Oh, what? No. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, before but, Tim came along and yeah. Dad stole the entire the whole saturation blue, of blue, blue crew for cars. And I wanted a dark blue Ferrari. Blue Potsy was my favourite. Blue I don't know what Potsy. This is. It's like a really dark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I know blue. the one. I know the one you mean. Ah, uh, or maybe Potsy. <sighs> but this car, I wouldn't ruin this car by putting a white dot on the side. Admit it was rubbish. It was not. I will never admit that because I missed the dot. It's fine on your phone. White it's, dot still lives. Yeah, the, the RIP white, white dot. You can now get these fantastic skins on <laughs> easyskins.com. I was that, seen through that was a good plan. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, the blue, I love yeah. the blue, but yeah. but in all senses, I guess there's two things. The blue, I like, I love the blue. Yes. The, this tan interior is like, for me, like, is that woo! really tan interiors for you? Is like oh, the thing, really? Oh, in a in a dark coloured car. Is there no way on your next car you could get a tan interior, or would it not work on a more modern car these days? 
Because I'm thinking that... No, I think it depends on the exterior colour. Yeah, I think it does. What about the exterior Because colour? you don't really see this interior on modern cars. No, really. yeah, you know, really, it's, you it's don't true, really. especially with this, like... Like, imagine your F-Type with that, it would just be well, like... You know what, I different. think it would be really nice, which is what they did, like... I'm not getting an SVR before everyone starts trolling me. Because they now do this, like, hexagonal stitching in the SVR. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really nice. Yeah. And so this colour, I think, with Jaguar British Racing Green... Yeah. On a F-Type SVR, I, with carbon fibre, but I think would be... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it would. So it yeah, would. That, that's for me like that. When I saw that when you showed me this car earlier, I was like, I just want to lick the leather. Lick the leather. Oh, back there. Because I saw your video with George Bamford, and he was showing when his wife and him had the those cars. That was cool. Very they had cool. that retro, cool, really cool look to them, didn't they? Really cool. And like understated these cars because they're not Ferraris that are really in your face. No. They're kind like of you like, could cruise around in that and people wouldn't really know you. Yeah, in a yeah, exactly. It's like a kind of casual Ferrari, which is, you know, an, a ridiculous but amazing thing to say. Yeah, exactly. Just going down the gates here. The gates. I'm going through the gates. Fifty Marinello still running at the moment. So I've just shown you a brief outline of the 550 Marinello and I'll be sharing with you guys more of an insight into this car as time goes on and unveiling more videos. So this was basically just a brief overview of the Marinello and a really fun video with Sam. I've enjoyed filming with him. So next week I have another exciting video coming up. Give it a thumbs up if you like it and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you then. Marjorie, what are you doing? Practicing. Practicing for what? Mate, is it really necessary to wear all that gear just to get some lunch? Because you look like an idiot. Safety fast! Safety! 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 Safety!